All right, design and modeling students. We're going to teach you how to use Autodesk. So this guy right here is your computer-aided drafting software. So we're going to get really good at this over the next few weeks, um, doing some assignments, and then also uh, doing some custom builds. So anything that you want to design, uh, you will be able to but first we need to give you some of the basic skills. So, our first assignment is a sketch plane cube. A uh, simple cube has a hole through it, has a couple of, uh, has a square peg sticking off of it, round peg sticking off of it, and if we come down here we can see the measurements. Um, we want the diameter on the circle peg to be one inch. We want them to stick out, or we want to extrude them half an inch. Uh, the cube itself is two by two. The hole is going to be one inch. It goes all the way through the middle. And then on these sides that you can't see, I've got these hidden lines on there. We're going to do a square peg that goes in and a round peg that goes in. So I'm just going to go into Autodesk and we will make that object. It's pretty quick, but it teaches you some very important basics. So I open up Autodesk. I'm going to select a part file. First we're going to teach you how to make parts, then eventually we'll learn how to make assemblies, and we'll also learn how to make drawings on Autodesk. So I select part. In order to make my cube, that's what I'm going to start with. I'm going to say create 2D sketch. So to make a cube, I start off by drawing a square. I like to click on my XY plane. I'm going to come to the rectangle tool. I'm going to select a two point center rectangle. I'm going to click in the middle of my grid here. So left click, drag, let go of your mouse and then you can type in what size you want it to be. So I'm going to type the number 2, then I'm going to hit the tab button, and then I'm going to type the number 2. Hit enter. And then if I click on this house right here on my view cube, we will see that I drew a 2 inch by 2 inch square. Now I'm going to click finish sketch. I'm going to click extrude so it takes this two-dimensional shape that I drew and it makes it three-dimensional so extrude it's trying to extrude it one inch I want it to be a cube so I need to extrude it two inches so I can simply delete that and press the number two and hit enter if I click on my view cube home view we can see that I have a perfect 2 inch by 2 inch by 2 inch cube. Now, in order to make my circle peg extrusion and my square peg extrusion, I'm going to use this 2D sketch function again. So, start 2D sketch. I'm going to click on the top. If I use the scroll bar on my mouse, if I hold it down, this little hand icon appears and I can move my object around my screen. If I roll the wheel, then it will zoom in and out. So hold it down to move it, because the wheel func also works as a button, and then scroll it to zoom in and out. So let's draw the circle on there and extrude it and that will be the end of this first video. So I'm going to select the center point circle. Now the key is to find the middle of this cube. So I've got a yellow dot right there that shows me the center from left to right. I need to find the center up and down. So if I come over here and just hold my cursor on the left side of the cube it will give me a white line and as I move 
it will show me the center points with the dotted line. So I'm going to click, drag, let go, type the number one, hit enter, and then say finish sketch. Now I can extrude that. It remembered the last time I extruded I did it two inches. But we know from looking at the document, or from the plan right here, that I don't want it to be two inches. I only want it to be half an inch. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to change that to the point 0.5. Hit enter and I now have my circle peg extrusion and that is part one.